Welcome to the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series. I did not want to start practice. Crap. Yo, who's a message from now? Check it. Yeah, no idea what that is. So we're gonna go to the infield garage. Sorry about that. Um, quick, quick wrong button thing. NASCAR Sprint Cup Series. Okay, now we're gonna skip. We're gonna go to the race. Um, now this year is really important. Texas. I'm supposed to, live, I'm supposed to say Texas. Welcome to Texas. This year is a very important race of the season uh, for some of these drivers. Uh, but there's there's the track. We're ready. Um, I qualified sixth, so I feel pretty confident in the X piece number 42 Chevrolet. But starting first is Kyle Busch number 18 M and M's. Second number 31 Ryan Newman, Cat Quick and Loons. Third Jimmy Johnson number 48 Lowe's, and fourth is Trevor Bain with the Ford Motorcraft. 21 iconic Wood Brothers 21 actually so you should say so next to me is Kurt Busch in the number 42 Haas Chevrolet so we got one Toyota and one Ford in the top six with the other Chevys so can I clear Bane yes I can I cleared Bane now we're just going to pull in down low here in front of Hamlin. Now that there is a key move that I made. Now Bain is going to take that position back from me. As um, into the corner now Newman there. Getting shuffled a bit. Newman up the track. We're about to go four wide into this corner. Oh my gosh. You see, you lose your momentum just a bit and you go back. You've seen that there with Kurt Busch. He lost his momentum just a bit and he's going back. Trevor Bain's going back. Ryan Newman's going back. You get one little tap, lose your momentum, you're going back. See, Newman did luck out there. He didn't really fall that far back in the field. Where other drivers, not so lucky now. I just need to pull ahead of Truex Jr. That's really key here, is that pass. So it's telling me to break now? Nah, man. You don't actually need to really break that hard. I mean, you get one little tap there. Slow your speed on just a bit. Go like... You go into the corner. Give the brakes a bit of a tap. Give them more tap. And there you go. Into that corner. Riding along that black line. There you go. Right there. Hit the edge of that grass. And you just keep on driving. Drive this car really hard into that corner. Almost too much. Hopefully I didn't open the door too much for the other cars to catch back up to me. But there you go. Down the back straight now. I'm going to be quiet a bit now. Just to really, really focus here in Texas. I didn't actually break this whole corner. And I mean, I'm fine with it. I mean, I let up a bit on the gas. And there you go. So you drove through the corner without really letting up on the gas. There you go. So you go in through that corner. And now we're ready to just see. Can we clip that grass? No, we don't. Here we're going to clip it. Almost. We want to cut the grass just a bit for them here in Texas. That way, Bruton Smith wanted to pay more people to him. Cut his grass to Texas. You know, I, I think Bruton Smith would really appreciate if I helped him by just, just you know, cutting the grass out of it here in Texas, you know. He, he helped New Hampshire more to shoot away. So I feel like what a better way to pay Bruton Smith 
back and help him by being respectful to his grass at his track. You know? There you go. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna win Texas. <laughs> yeah! Mm, I'm back. I am back. Too bad they didn't allow you back in the chase, because I am back. Win Talladega. Uh, get second for most of the time in Martinsville until... Just have one little bad mistake there in a block, and I get sent back in the traffic and finish 12. And then Texas. Look at this run of um, success that I've had here in Texas. Um, only my first win and only two races ever in Texas. I think it's time for a Polish victory lap. By an American. Um, dri driving a car of a Japanese American. Very interracial this is, I think. I think we're really covering all the races with this um, thing. Because there's a white American doing a Polish victory lap. Um, out of respect, obviously, for the, um, uh, who was that guy that did it? Um, I forgot his name. Oh my gosh, I forgot the guy's name. Out of respect for the guy, Alan Kubicki, that one, that did the Polish victory lap. So, this year, very fun, fun thing to do, you know? You know, you can you can go reverse on the track now and uh, then have a big thing that says, wrong way, across the top of your screen. Ooh! Ooh, I want to see how hard I'd actually hit the wall. Okay, so here you go. So I'm about to try to do a Texas drift. Oh my gosh, that was not a Texas drift. That was a Texas wreck. Okay, so my attempt to drift a corner at Texas t turned more into a um Texas Texas toast burning down type thing speaking of Texas toast and the reference um make sure you go watch the videos um Curtis and Trayvon potential fire uh we have a whole 29 minute video where we um do some comedy bits I might do different voices trying to sell Trayvon a car, um, which turned out to be, um, cooking things in my kitchen, um, you know, eating random things at 1 o'clock in the morning, don't remember half the things that were in that video, honestly, because I was super tired, yeah, I don't remember what happened that night, actually, it was sort of all overshadowed by what happened next, so you want to find out what happened next, with Texas Toast and Microwave, uh, make sure you check out the video, uh, the full one if you want to see some comedy bits, um, or you can just watch the uh, Curtis and Trevon Potential Fire. Uh, we have three different versions, so you can check out the regular one, you can watch the slow motion one where you can see more of our actions, or we have the faster version where it speeds everything up that happens during it super quickly. So, I decide to do a nice little burnout through Burton Smith grass like I said before. Oh my gosh, like I said, I think he'll appreciate it. I think Bruton Smith will be like, thank you for tearing up my grass. If you're wondering who Bruton Smith is, he's the owner of every track that you go to that has this symbol on it. See the um not that one, that's Coca Cola. Not that one, that's something else. This big one right there. Every train that you go to, or that we go to here, you can see it right there on the wall. Those are owned by Root and Smith. There are so many of those.
Just the name of the few ones that I like to go to. Um, Sonoma. New Hampshire. Let's see what else is the other one's Texas. The other Charlotte. Um, they're all NASCAR sanctioned tracks too. So I'm just going to do a big burnout on the Sprint Cup Series uh, logo. And uh, we're going to continue. See that celebration? Uh, this is not what Kyle Larson's face looks like. His face is in a black helmet. Um, which you're about to see. Kyle Larson doesn't look like that. Um, his uniform does look like that. That is his real uniform. Uh, but that's, that's not his face. If you want to see what Kyle Larson's face really looks like. Here you go. Nice collectible card for you to see. You can actually see it very well. Camera focus. There you go. Either way, that's Kyle Larson. <laughs> I got the card that started very excited. Well, by the way, the only one that could have won the 1991 because Nick Patrick wasn't really racing, and uh, you know the, the other one, Ryan Hornaday Jr. Um, yeah, no, this this should be very fun continuation of the season. So I can't move up. Okay, I can't move up in points. Jimmy Johnson still leads your points. Wait, what? Yeah, okay, I looked at that on my, why is it, oh wait, never mind. Uh, so there you go, so, it's a bit closer though. 477, 475. These two are actually tied, Brad Kudowski and Greg Biffle. Uh, so that should be an interesting matchup. Um, yeah, but there you go. Uh, I can only move up to ninth. Um, after the next race, I can move up to fifth. So that's the best I can give is fifth. So these four drivers here, Austin Dillon, Denny Hamlin, Matt Kenseth, and Ryan Newman, need to have a really good race. So that they can knock Greg Biffle, Brad Kozlowski, Brian Vickers, and Jimmy Johnson out of the top. Um, I'd like to see Austin Dillon get into it. Uh, hopefully, maybe we can have more Chevy drivers uh, because I have a Chevy car. So for Team Chevy overall, that's what I want. In reality, I like Fords better than Chevys, but in NASCAR, it's gotta be a Chevy. How do you, I'm not saying I don't like Chevys, I'm just saying of a company, if I had to pick one, I'd pick Toyota or Ford over Chevy. But, for NASCAR, it's gotta be Chevy. If I had a team, actually if I had a team, what would I pick? Probably a Chevy. If I had my own NASCAR team. I saw in the video game. So that means that I have a Chevy. Either way, um, thanks for watching. We will see you at Phoenix, right? Uh, let's change the paint scheme first. Okay. We're going with the regular paint scheme for the next track. Um, and we're going to Phoenix. Two races left. And we are prepared for something amazing, something that you have not seen. Hopefully, a potential sweep of the track. Uh, did we do any other track? Uh, I won Bristol twice, didn't I? I did win that Michigan race. That still shocks me. To this moment. Daytona, I didn't sweep. Um, Charlotte, I didn't do good on. Talladega I swept. So Talladega, Bristol. Texas, I won Texas. I won Texas then too. Do I get the Texas racetrack now or something? Like I won Texas twice. Should I be shocked by this? The the, the card, the scorecard only told me that I won it once, so I must have not counted that one. 
Yeah, so I've set Bristol, Texas, and uh, the other one. Bristol, Texas, and... Chaladega. Thank you for watching.